What up, YouTube? We have an October 10th through October 15th edition of Motown Mail. The weekend is upon us. I'm very excited. It's supposed to be nice this entire weekend. Good fall weather. Um, here's what I got this week. Uh, some pretty nice stuff, uh, but none none cooler than this one. This is a um, 1909. It's over 100 years old. 1909 T206, the original T206, uh, Johnny Evers. A lot of people think it's pronounced Johnny Evers, but it's actually Johnny Evers. Uh, this is the rare, uh, rarest variation of his card. He has three different variations. He has this one, where he oh, come on, focus, man. Where he has the Cubs uniform, and there's one where it has the Chicago running down the middle, and then he has the uh, the the uh, portrait. And this is the most sought after one. It's only graded a PSA one, uh, but I've seen PSA twos and threes that look worse than this. Uh, this right down here, let me get a little pencil, right here, that's the only actual crease in the card and it's not real bad either. Obviously rounded corners, but I love this card. It's got good color, you know, the, back's, the back of it's clean, you know, Piedmont cigarettes. <coughs> um, this is the same set that uh, has the Honus Wagner, um, the most sought after baseball card in existence. Um, but uh, this is actually the second highest book valued Cubs card ever. The only one that beat it was the 1954 uh, Ernie Banks rookie card. <clears throat> you can go check out the book value on this one uh, if you want. But I uh, love that card. I'm considering doing the Cubs team set. We'll see though. We'll see. Um, obviously I'm not looking for any like high, high grades because a little expensive but I mean something like this is I think it's pretty cool looking you know PSA 1 but like I said I have a feeling if I resubmit it it'd be at least a PSA 2 but it's a pretty sweet card I love it love it love it love it um <clears throat> moving on this guy's having a real good year for the Chargers um I already had one of his autographs but it's on a Sage I don't really like Sage autographs that much um this is from Topps Prime this is uh, Rookie Auto numbered 88 of 299 of Ryan Matthews as predicted, I said he'd have a you know bounce back year. I thought he'd have a good rookie season, but I was wrong there. But luckily, uh, he came back. I should have bought more of his stuff because there was a time where his stuff was going real cheap, um, starting to go up now. So I decided to pick that up before it went up even higher. Nice clean looking autograph, sticker auto, but it's kind of trapped inside that frame, so I don't mind that too much. So nice little upgrade right there. This guy's having a great year for the uh, New Orleans Saints. Um, I should have bought his autograph before because I predicted he have, he'd have a good year as well. Um, and his autographs have pretty much tripled in price since I considered getting one. Um, but anyway, this is from Topps Platinum, number 809 of 999 of Jimmy Graham. <clears throat> Jimmy Graham. Having a great year again with the New Orleans Saints. I got this addition to the Michael Turner PC. You won't be able to see the number unless I bring it down here. Um... 20, uh, 2011 Donner's Elite Aspirations die cut blue. I uh, don't usually buy these unless they're really low numbered or there is jersey numbered, and this one is his jersey numbered 33 of 67. So, I mean, I have like the uh, I, think I have all the autograph variations of this the ones numbered to 10, numbered to 17. Um, so, I might just do the rainbow on that, we'll see. Um, this guy's gonna be a stud in the majors. I don't think he's off to a real, or he was off to a real great start in the majors, but he will be next year. Um, this is a 2011 Topps Chrome Refractor On Card Rookie Auto of Julio Teheran. It's numbered to 499. Nice, clean, legible looking signature right there. Uh, I got this one for 99 cents plus shipping. Um, had a bad year this year with the Blue Jays after he got traded to the Blue Jays. Um, from Topps Marquee, number to 570 of Colby Rasmus. I actually got him in single A on some China baseballs that have faded somewhat. So wanted a clean autograph of Colby Rasmus for 99 cents plus shipping. Couldn't pass it up. It's a nice on-card autograph, too, from a pretty somewhat high-end product. So uh, this was an impulse purchase. Um <clears throat> After his game-winning hit with the Brew Crew, who as of now are still still in it. Um, 2008 Bowman on-card rookie auto of Niger Morgan T-plush. 
so that's pretty sweet. His uh, post-game um, interview was pretty much, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I thought I had a Niger Morgan autograph. I didn't have, I didn't, uh, didn't have one after I checked. Uh, another uh, Brewer autograph. Didn't have his signature yet. Uh, I got this six bucks shipped, I think. Uh, Giovanni Gallardo. So that's pretty sweet. Got a nice little package from uh, Zach. Uh, uh, 9 D Brown 9. Formerly Zach Glow 66. Sent me this for the YouTube PC. Sar for the weight. Threw in some extras for you. Stay safe, bro. Zach Glow's number 24. I'll put his link below for y'all to check out. One of the coolest younger collectors on here. Real, he's legit. He's legit. Um, sent me some nice stuff. Got some autographs right here. Let me just bring this down. It'll be easier. What up? Bottom of the laptop. Um, let's see. We got the Adam Warren. I sent that for like a 50 50. He got one of them signed for me, so thank you, sir. And these are all extras. Felix Dubron. Uh, Daniel Nava. Uh, Greg Infante. Phil Garner, Delwyn Young, uh, Nick Johnson, Seth Bynum, really nice Phil Nevin in his uh, Cubs uniform. I already had a Nevin autograph, but that's going to replace it because he's in his Cubs uniform. A nice turkey red. Uh, Barry Foote, and Aaron Heilman. Same situation there. I think I already had, a, I'm pretty sure I already had a Heilman, but that'll be replaced because he's in his Cubs uniform, so got those so those are the autos uh, then we got some Sandbergs Cubs and extras right here I'm gonna fly through some of these uh, I got Micah Gibbs again cool guy caught his first ever professional home run he traded me that for a game he was bad at his so that's pretty sweet um, uh, Josh Vitters rest in peace Josh Vitters PC another Micah Gibbs and a ton of Sandbergs um, I actually already had every one of these except for this one so um, but I always you know I don't mind doubles of uh, of Sandberg, so ton of Sandbergs. Um, I needed these as well. These are from TriStar Prospects Plus with Brett Jackson. Got this uh, Michael Turner, very nice. Which I think I might needed that one. And uh, this inappropriate picture of Matt Ryan and Michael Turner. Um, you can use your imagination there. <laughs> um, but I needed that for the Turner PC as well. And then I got these. Uh, Really nice Sandberg cards, obviously, all of which I did need. I should have mentioned the ones that I showed earlier were the base cards. I had most of those base cards, but these I definitely did not have. Uh, it's from 2010 Tops Commemorative Patch, 1989. All-Star Game Patch. Very nice. It's a really nice game used back card with the Cubs um, burned into it. Uh, Cubs logo burned into it. Very nice. From SP Legendary Cuts. And this 2008 Donruss Thread Century Stars. Uh, hollow foil parallel numbered 80 of 100. So Zach, thanks a lot for the extras, my friend. I really appreciate it. Really wasn't expecting that, but uh, thank you, sir. And everybody, go check out Zach. I have one minute, and ten seconds to show the rest of these, so I gotta get cooking. Um, another blind trade. Love this blind trade. I like trading prospects. Some of which, obviously, that won't make it to the major leagues for like major league cards. And so. Um, this one was from The Rock over on uh, SportsQuadrants.net. Sent me some nice stuff. I uh, got Bob Montgomery, Jim Fergosi, Jay So, remember him, uh, Gary Wayne, Pete Ladd, Steve Sachs, former Rookie of the Year. I actually met him at an interview, uh, a job interview a couple years back. Um, I decided I didn't want to go in that direction though but it was kind of funny being in an apartment with Steve Sachs and his girlfriend anyway <laughs> uh, Tom Brookins Darren Fletcher I think I'm running out of time Mike Rumlinger right here John Wathen Brian Holman Jose Cardinal I like that one Spike Owen Bert Hooten Chase Wright Eric Hetzel Jeff Montgomery Jay Aldrich Jeff Reed uh, Danny Lawallen Jim Gott Tom Bernanski Kevin Reimer uh, Speed Stanichek, uh, Bill Verdon, uh, Jay Laviglio, Steve McCaddy, Larry Boa, Ryan Radmanovic, uh, Ron Say, Ed Ott, and Corey Snyder. So, at 10 seconds left, perfect timing. That's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.